Hello, Tibby community. Today on the 11th June, the first and long-awaited teaser for the summer update was released. In today's video, we will give you a summary of the things which was already known from the teaser and the answers by CM Murata. The teaser you see at the moment is a story. If you want to read it, you can find it at the latest news on Tibia.com. But for us, we will give you known facts in the short summary. Let's go. So let's see the teaser in a nutshell. The main quest line will take you across the Tibia lands to sanctify 12 graves of the fallen knights. Two of these graves can be found in new areas. This means two new areas. Kilmarush is a large peninsula that once formed a landmass with Kralos and Ormond. The capital is called Isavi. Kilmarush consists of five discoverable sub areas. Kilmarush will be one of the new areas. Capital is called Isavi. Does this mean new houses? There is a fortified hideout on an island near the coast of Darama, where the gaze of the cobra will watch your every move. So this will be the second new area as an island. The difficulty of the monsters in the update is close to falcons. Monsters will be slightly stronger or weaker than falcons, but somewhere around that range. Level requirement will probably be 250 to 500. Alright, let's get over to the questions and answers. A player was asking if the monsters will have exactly the strength of falcons or might be stronger or weaker. Murata answered that falcons are just a rough estimation and the monsters might be a bit below or a bit above. Another player was asking what the exact definition of sanctify 12 graves mean. So basically, he want to know how to sanctify the graves. Murata answered that there will be riddles and bosses. This means that it will probably be working like the way the secret library quest works, so unlock all graves you have to either make riddles or kill bosses. She also answered that there will be new equipment, but the rewards of the main questline are still unknown. Let's get into a really wanted feature that players were asking for a long time for. Browsing through the comments, of course there is one player asking for a vacation balance or a vacation change. Alright, take a look at the long-awaited answer. She simply answered this question short and painless, with a no. A lot of people were giving high hopes on the summer update regarding the sword club and diamond arrow fix. This time, we also got disappointed again. After the answer was given, people reacted negatively in the forums. Here are some examples. Taken from the answer of the community manager, there will be once again lever bosses with new mechanics, and as well bosses without a lever mechanism, probably similar to the Falcon mini bosses. The Cobra is probably related to the famous and mysterious Basilisk. Here you have the whole summary on one page. Alright, so that's it for the first teaser. Let's talk about something extra on the end of the video. Hey guys, so today I saw the news about the golden outfit. In summary, it will cost 1 kkk, that's 1000 kk. In other words, if a coin price is 20k each, this would be equal to 50,000 tibia coins. That's an insane amount of money and would equal uh, around 1600 euro. If you buy this amazing looking outfit, it will come with a mannequin kit, which you can put in your house. According to the community manager, it is around 3 square meters wide. It will show what add-ons you own as well. Last but not least, every name of the characters that own this outfit will be displayed on a golden memorial in different Tibia cities. Let me give you some of my feedbacks and thoughts about this outfit. First of all, like I already said, I think the outfit looks amazing. It is by far the most badass outfit we will have in Tibia until now. The price sounds hard, but in fact we are having a really high gold inflation in Tibia. Let's not forget that the outfit should be something special. I think it's a great way to make gold disappear, but in fact not the best way. More for this later. In fact, we have to see what happens now in monitoring the coin price to see if this really make a big influence on the whole market. In my opinion, I cannot see many players are going to buy this outfit. That's why I'm not sure if it will affect the market and gold as a whole. Another and better way to sink the gold and affect everyone and not just a really small percentage would have been adjusting the blessing price depending on your level range. Anyways, I think it's a great outfit and definitely a better way than outfits like Ferumbra set since there the gold stays in the game and just change the owner. With this outfit the gold actually really vanished from the server. 
I would like to hear your opinion on the teaser and the golden outfits. Feel free to leave your comments below the video. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. I really hope that you liked it. Please leave me a like and a sub. See you on the next video. Bye bye.